Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Dr. Orhan. Today we will talk about your baby girl's brain. Today our question is, how does a baby girl's brain grow? Let's talk about this topic. By the time you had taken an early pregnancy test and gotten the news, your daughter's brain was starting to form. Your baby was little more than a tiny flat disc floating over a bowl of cells. The transformation of this fertile zite blob of chemical driving cells into a young woman who will solve complex problems, talk on the phone for hours, and read chemistry textbook is an amazing process. The microscopic growth developed along the length of the tiny disc. The growth depends and eventually sealed its edges over to form a long tube called neural tube. By five weeks, the organ that looked like a lumpy inchworm had already embarked on the most spectacular feat of human development. The creation of the deeply creased cerebral cortex, the part of the brain that will eventually allow your daughter to move, think, speak, plan and create. The brain of your growing girl changes so much over the next 34 weeks that researchers are able to tell you how many weeks pregnant you are by looking at your daughter's brain. At birth, girl's brain on average are smaller than boy's brain. Your daughter will have the same number of neurons as a boy, but she will jam more into less space. So, what is unique about a baby girl's brain? Your daughter Daughter's brain will perform millions of tasks in a uniquely female way. Without the influence of the Y chromosome, the fetal girl brain takes on the structure and function of a female brain. Some areas of her brain will be larger than in a boy's brain, others smaller. In certain areas of her brain, there will be more connections between brain cells than in a boy's brain. Her brain will control her body temperature, blood pressure, heart rate and breathing. Also translate a lot of information about the world around her from her eyes, ears, nose and taste buds. Regulate her physical motion when walking, talking, standing or sitting. Think, dream, reason and experience emotions. And this is all done by an organ that is about the size of a small grapefruit. We can make a detailed video about baby's brain if you want. Lastly, let's talk about your daughter's brain's parts. The cerebrum, the biggest part of the brain, also called the cerebral hemispheres. Most of the brain's weight, 85%. Cerebellum, the cerebellum is at the back of the brain, although a lot smaller than the cerebrum. The brain stem connects the brain to the spinal cord and is in charge of all the basic functions your girl's body needs to stay alive. Breathing air, digesting food and circulating blood. Pituitary gland. The pea-sized, powerful pituitary gland is in charge of making your girl grow large by producing and releasing growth hormone into her body. Lastly, hypothalamus. Last but certainly not least is the hypothalamus, the brain's regulator of emotions, body temperature and food and water intake. At some point your daughter will tell you to stop putting a coat on her because you are cold and you can thank her hypothalamus for that. Thanks for watching us everyone. I try to answer how does a baby girl's brain grow. If you want more video about brain, please comment below. Also, if you like this video, please like this video. Here. See you in the next video. Bye bye.